I can see two main problems in, uh, or two main limitations in packaging recycling. One of them is the use of non-sustainable materials. The second problem is the use of uh, multi-layer materials. Multi-layers are formed by paperboard, plastic, metal foils. These multi-layers are very uh, complicated to be separated in an efficient form. So uh, this is one of the main uh, goals of the Cofanco project to avoid the, the, these separation problems. Ecofanco project is a project sponsorized by the bio-based industry joint undertaking program. And the main objective is to find innovative solutions for a more sustainable packaging, in particular concerning the, the materials and the end-of-life options. We have several partners involved in research activity, especially for the first part of the project for extraction of the active or functional molecules from the agrofood biomass. And so that is was conducted in Spain by the University of Alicante, in Italy from SICA, in Germany from Frauhofer, in Belgium from Salabor, and even here in Italy from the University of Pisa. We started from the extraction of uh, molecules from biomasses, which are now low valorized, uh, particularly for tomato, apple, and watermelon. And the idea, the main idea is that from these ways, which are uh, characterized by having a low value, we have obtained different biomolecules such as cutting, polyphenols and uh, lipids. The unit of the University of Pisa is particularly addressed to the study of uh, new materials and also related to the processing of bioplastics, the formulation of new materials to select functional molecules but also substrates that can be good for final applications. And in particular we worked a lot with ketin and ketosan dispersed in hot melts, achieving very good results of coating both on cellulosic substrate than on plastic substrates. In fact, we dispersed uh, uh, the biomolecules extracted uh, in the first part of the project, like ketin, ketosan, or even cutin and proteins, in an oligomeric matrix to achieve a final pellet, a final granule, in which uh, we uh, can uh, view all the uh, properties that can have uh, a, a typical coating, but uh, this coating is uh, biobased, biodegradable and useful and workable also at lower temperature. With different techniques we apply uh, different formulation on a substrate and we are the chain link between the extractors from natural sources and uh, the uh, scale-up production. So for instance, the, the application you saw in the lab uh, with the coating unit was done with uh, the cutin based coating received by Basica, formulated by Sika, and we applied it on, on paper substrate selected with the other partner, Hutamaki. And, uh, and then you also saw the test to verify the recyclability of this, uh, of this product. And we also uh, collaborate with the University of Pisa, who develops uh, antimicrobial coatings and we apply these coatings in particular on uh, personal care uh, packaging but also products and in this case then we, we test uh, the antimicrobial properties. For example, uh, we received this uh, cellulose tissue uh, from Cellobor company and uh, one of the goal of um, Ecofonco uh, was to surface modify this uh, cellulose tissue and uh, in our group we used different uh, methods to be able to have surface modification like simple spraying or even like um, putting something like uh, film so we try to use electro spinning as one technology and uh, that um, is simple and also at the same time we can uh, reach to the nano size. The activity provided by ARCA for the Ecofanco project is very important since uh, it allows uh, the consortium to go uh, directly to the um, 
reach of the objectives of the project since we provide the final validation of the sustainability of this packaging. And then we are also uh, involved in the final validation of the uh, new Ecofanco uh, packaging and prototypes in order to uh, verify the shelf life of some food products as for example uh, Parma ham or cheese. Uh, for a consortium, the prosciutto di Parma is uh, very important uh, to participate in Ecofanco project uh, as we are always very careful to the aspects linked to the sustainability. Um, for instance, uh, for some time now we are reducing the plastic that we use normally for the trays of uh, pre-sliced prosciutto di Parma and in this sense uh, the Ecofanco project uh, completely reaches our goal. Ecofanco is important for the future because it perfectly meets the circular economy idea of having any byproducts, any waste products of the main production being valorized, so not getting discarded, not getting wasted, but becoming something valuable, eco-sustainable, economically sustainable and technologically performing. Uh, we want to reach also uh, people, we want to let people know that uh, uh, these solutions are possible, feasible and uh, they can help uh, our future in reducing uh, the uh, pollution, the uh, waste generated each day. To make people aware that this could be a reality, that we can really obtain um, materials that are greener, more sustainable, and we need to really bet for, for this type of investigations. So this is the main goal of this, of this project and the contribution to a better future.